Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions, and wow. Buck, I can't believe you did this. Hey, if you ever bought a new buck knife, you're going to know it came in the iconic yellow box. Made in the USA. I mean, I always liked the box. So, but when you saw a box like this, you know it was a buck knife. And this is what my buck 124 came out in. And that's the video I did that you see on YouTube. But I had ordered another. And it came like this. Let me show you this. So this part right here is a sleeve put around another box. So let's take a look. When you start to slide it out, you see this. Raised letters, edge of a legend. Well, that's cool. Then you're gonna see this nice silver, actually imprinted, established 1902, buck knives. Now watch this, this is cool. It's just not another box. It has magnets. I'm gonna shut the box. Keeps it shut. I mean, you're just gonna to wanna to keep the box. I mean, <laughs> to keep that knife in there. You open it up, look at this. Established 1902. With over a century of experience, we've instilled a legacy of self-reliance by building knives that prevail through generations. This piece stands as a testament to our enduring craftsmanship and is backed for life by our famous Buck Knives Forever warranty. Then you have this packing in there. Really holds it insecure. Then they put some more. Some, uh, I don't know what you call that, foam around it. So. Let's take a look. This should be the uh, Buck 124 with the black micarta handle. My other one has a little bit of brown in it, so I'm gonna see how this one looks. That's even taped to the back. There we go. It's probably my smudge, yep. Oh, wow. You, you see what I'm seeing? Usually their sheets are made in Mexico, and that's okay with me because they make some good leather down there, but look at this sheath. Product made in USA. There is, somebody can correct me wrong, but there is no stickers on this saying made in Mexico. Wow. Black my car to handle. It's very nice. Hey, that's uh 2020 mark right there. Look at that blade. You know, I'm gonna say this again. I did this on my review, but I'm gonna say it again. If you have not purchased the Buck 124. Frontiersman. Do so. If you can, that nice full tang exposed all around. The 420 HC with the Paul Boss heat treatment. That's one amazing knife. And the packaging. I can't believe you, Buck, you just, you have outdid yourself, that packaging. Now, I don't know. Now, I bought this from a certain company, so I don't know if they do it specially for them. I'm not positive. I don't know, leave comments. Got this one from Copper and Clad, so I don't know if they do it packaging specifically, maybe cater to them, 
or maybe that's how Buck uh, packages their knives now. This is the first one I've ever seen with this packaging. Um, so leave comments if you've seen this before. But this is an uh, amazing package from the box to the knife to the sheath. Um, that impresses me. That, that's, that impresses me. Hey, thank you for watching. God bless.